I don't know. I think that, you know, I, I doubt that they'll probably do all access. I mean, I'd have to host my own self. <laughs> well, you I don't have, know maybe, how that would work out. You, maybe you have Dana host it. Oh, my God. That's a deadly combination right there. <laughs> Between the two of us, the entire show would be beep. You know how hard it is for me to not say the F word? <laughs> yeah, well, and, and we know how hard it is for Dana. So, Rochelle, yeah, I know that, that, that doesn't happen. <laughs> I, I know that you've been doing these interviews all day long, and I know you have a lot more uh, going on uh, you know, tonight as well. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing you on Thursday. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I look forward to it. Who are you picking for Thursday? You mean for Saturday? I mean Saturday. Uh, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know. I mean what I, I think, not what I say. I know, and, and, and I really was hoping you wouldn't ask me that. Um, Uh-oh. Well, just because Brock Lesnar scares me. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't, as an MMA fan, I'm going to step away from being a journalist. From an, As an MMA fan, I do not want Brock Lesnar to win. I think it's, honestly, I think it's bad for the sport. Um, you know, yeah, somebody, I've been getting that a lot. Yeah, you know, somebody that new to the sport, I mean, he's got a lot of talent, but not a whole lot of skill yet. And, mm-hmm. and, of, and of course, the legend, you know, Randy Couture. So Randy's going to appreciate what I'm about to say. I think Randy's the underdog. I think Randy's going to lose, which means you know and I know next Saturday Randy will be victorious. Yeah. You know, everybody always you picks know, against him. You what? I said everybody always picks against Randy. Look at his last... Yeah, fights. you know, and, and he's he's been really pro- – I mean, he, above anyone else, has proved himself the most in this sport, hands down. He's come back – I mean, he's come out of things – even, like, the Chuck fight that he did where, you know, that they set up, it really, I think, was set up. I mean, look at how show or Chuck was showcased coming out, that first fight that they did, and, and Chuck lost. Right. That was totally unexpected. So Randy has a tendency to come out on top when people least expect it. So, you know, maybe that's going to happen this weekend. You know, and you know, and I know, and we've talked about it, and Randy's even talked about it on this program. Randy's brought in some really big guys, guys as big as Brock, guys as strong as Brock. So it's not going to be as big a surprise on Saturday when he gets in there. Like, I think Heath Herring was surprised. I think Frank right. Muir was surprised at how strong Brock is. Randy's not going to be that surprised. And I think if it if Randy can survive the very beginning, the first two minutes or so, I think Randy comes out and wins this fight. That's what everyone's saying because the endurance factor, you know. He does have endurance, and he's and if he can feel him out and and make sure that he knows like where he needs to not be, then he can avoid it because he's good at avoiding situations he shouldn't be in. He is an extremely smart man, but more importantly, who are you picking for the fight? You know, I don't know. I I've been I it's tough. I'm with you on everything. Like that whole thing with Brock. I mean, Brock is massive. He's an absolute beast, and if he gets you where he wants you, you're screwed. But right. um. At the same time, you know, the skill that Randy has is, is up there. I mean, it's more than anybody else in the sport. So who knows? I mean, that's a tough one. I'm more excited about Kenny Florian and Joe Stevenson. Oh, that is a great yeah. fight. Yeah. That, that is yeah. going to be a great fight. And when was the one for k You know, well, Ken Flo's been on this, this program a, a lot of times. I love them both. They're both great guys. But we're talking about Randy Couture being the underdog. When was the last time Joe Stevenson was an underdog? I know, man. Kenny Florian's got heart. Like, a, I mean, he's got more heart than I think anybody in the sport. Seriously. This it's going to be a great he's motivated. card. Motivated. He's gonna. I, I just want to see him on top, and uh, you know, couldn't. He's just the best guy. I love him. I'm going to tell you real quick, and I know you got to go. Like I said, I know you have other things, but I love this story. I went backstage to talk to Kenny Florian about a year ago, and I was raising a lot of money for the Ryan Bennett family, and. Kenny was going to donate a pair of gloves, and this just sticks in my head all the time. These are supposedly big, brute guys and, you know, this and that, and and, and words that we know is not true about these guys. So I go into the back. Kenny's on the phone. He just finished a fight, and he's on the phone with his mom, and he's going, yeah, Mommy, everything was good. Everything was great. Mommy, Mommy, and I'm like, it just, I wish people could see that side of not only Kenny Florian, but the MMA world and UFC athletes. I know. that's what that's what I really try to do with all access. You know, it's tough because some of them want to stay private in certain ways, and they, you know, they don't necessarily want everyone seeing their personal things. But but the reality is, they're such real guys. They're such down to earth, you know, humble human beings that people don't really get it. You know, and I, I think that that's what I really try to accomplish with all access. So hopefully, you know, we can get. I really want to get in there with BJ Penn. I, I really want to start showing some of his his personality side and of things. Cause I think he's a great guy too. So, you know, well, yeah, Kenny Florian's a great guy and, and a heart of gold. So and, hopefully and that, it comes out on top. 
that that's what's so important about your show, you know, to be honest, is, you know, to get the UFC to the next level and look how far it's already come, but to, to, take, to take it to the next level to maybe move it into one of the top four sports, baseball, basketball, football, and hockey, people, and I think it's already past hockey, by the way. Oh, for um, sure, way past hockey. That the, the important thing is to get the fans, new fans and old fans, to get to know the fighters, to get to know them as people, not because just fighters. Because that's what sells it, too. Right. That's what that's the whole thing that UFC's done that's been so brilliant is that they've sold these these characters. The, the actual guys are sell you know, they that's what you're buying is is to watch your guy, not like just to it's not just a fight. It's it's a fight with this guy who's from here, who does this, who used to go to school for that. You know, it's it's they have history to them. And it's not like a boxing match where it's just two dudes pummeling each other's face. It's, it's just these two guys that have, you know, such character and that's the beauty of what, you know, I think they've done a really good job with marketing the sport, and hopefully it just keeps it keeps spreading. You know, it's it's like a contagious virus. It's gone out there, and anyone who gets in the, in the arena and just watches a fight live, they're, they're sold on it because oh, you get to see absolutely. the whole energy of who this person is, I mean, outside of the octagon. Absolutely. So. Now, now, we've talked to Dana. We know about the uh, the action figures that are coming out, and I just thought of this, and I know I've said three times I'm going to let you go. When When is your action figure coming out? I don't know. You know, I keep asking them about it. I'm like, what, what's going on with my action figure? Um, I think I have to go in for a meeting with about it um, in, like, this week. So hopefully I can I can get more information then. I'll post so, it. I'll post a blog on when it's coming out. Awesome. And, and if you need our help, we'll start a petition. We'll get all the fans to sign the petition. Yes. Yes, uh, please. We, we will get it done. All right. I, I am going to let right. you go now. Like I said, I know you have Thank a lot of other stuff to do. Me. Thank you very much. Uh, the Playboy uh, magazine issue, it, it, it's a hot seller. Like I said, we're going to give a couple away, and I'm looking forward to Great. seeing you next Thursday in Vegas. All right. I look forward to it. Take care. Take care. So long.